when I close, close After an almost five year long refit, we recently left Marina Chiapas on our fast and cool trimaran hot sauce. And so far, it has taken us 2000 nautical miles to beautiful Sierra Cortez and Baja California. Think that you are no longer with me. In the last episode, I got in the last episode I got a good downwind back to in the last episode, I got a good win all the way back to La Paz with the spinnaker up. I'm sorry. What if I said I'm sorry? In the last episode, I got a good downwind back to La Paz with a spinnaker up. Today I left Baja Falsa and my plan is to start heading north now and then we'll see. Uh, when I will be back here, but I'm uh, mostly getting away from here because of the hurricane season. It's uh, fourth, third, third of Ju June today, I think, and um, the official hurricane season starts with first of June. But there actually been one hurricane uh, south in Mexico this year, so that was in end of May. It was a very early one. But yeah, so um, today I think I have about a 40 mile sail, and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna anchor in. Uh, at the island of San Francisco. Uh, it's a, a pretty nice downwind. I've been doing between nine and a half uh, knots, but now I, it's uh, getting a little bit calmer now, the wind, so I'm down at around uh, six and a half, seven and a half knots up and down. Getting closer to San Francisco. So me and Karen was here when we started our trip uh, going north, and uh, it's a pretty nice place, I have to say. I haven't snorkeled here, but I heard actually it's going to be very good snorkeling. So I might uh, see if I I have some time today and uh, see what it has to offer under the surface. I was uh, feeling I was needed to do some exercise, so I needed to do some hiking. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna um, hike the the ridge up here. It's a pretty easy one, I've heard. So and it's very beautiful. But yeah. I really enjoy this place here, especially now in the weekday. So today's Monday, so I got here on Saturday or something, I think. And it was like super crowded with the super yachts, and it was, and yeah, it was just jet skis, and yeah, it was no really like paradise. But yeah, let's start the hike. The pulse is up, like always. I've been too lazy now for a couple of weeks. But another 10 minutes and it should be like normal. But the good thing is, it's actually a trail here you can follow. So you sort of know where to go and don't need to make your own trail. That's how it was when we were hiking Partida, the big one we did with uh, Pere, Nico and Roberto. So, okay, let's aim for the top. So this is more or less the top 
Oh, okay, we passed the top one minute ago, but uh, so now it's going down on the ridge. It's pretty far, so uh, we haven't done the. We don't. We have not done 50%. You so had to do this without a breeze. Oh my gosh, that would be a pain. So yeah, it's uh, probably like uh, seven, eight knots of wind. Started over there, and now almost up. Just a couple of more steps. Woo! pretty flat down here yeah I'm um, walking this trail back to the beach now so you see around me that's where I was hiking it was a nice hike I liked it it was pretty pretty easy hike I would say here we have some small dams or whatever you call it that they dig dug out and it's uh, pure salt here it's very salty tasted it So just gonna get back to just gonna get back to my dinghy, then I'm rowing over to the boat again. And I uh, think I'm gonna try to start prepare for tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm gonna leave from San Francisco and maybe uh, head to Agua Verde. We're off again. I left um, San Francisco maybe um, half an hour ago. We're having a good downwind, we're doing between 8 and 9 knots. Uh, so, having a good time on board. Uh, I don't know where, how long the wind is going to last. So there was a chance. So it was actually better forecast to go on the outside of the island. It was a little bit of a hassle. So, this was the easiest way out. So it was like a, a chance I took. So, hopefully. So, this passage or this channel is about 18 miles long. So, if I keep up the speed, I should be out in uh, two, two and a half hours. We'll see, and then the wind's gonna pick up a little bit further north, um, a little bit more, and here it's gonna um, calm down, I guess. It's always the preparations in the morning that takes a lot on, uh, long time, you know. Uh, if you haven't done the dishes the other day, yeah, and then um, tidy up a little bit so things are not uh, getting tossed around when we're sailing, and taking up the dinghy, taking up the mainsail cover, putting on the lazy jacks, taking up the water hoses from the deck. You know, everything takes time, so that's about an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, I should have done that yesterday, but I got invited over to another boat. So I didn't get back until like uh, 11, 11, 11.30, so I was tired, went to sleep. And then this morning I put the alarm at 6, but no, I didn't go up to that time. I went up at 7, so I guess it's around 9 now. Almost getting closer to 9, maybe. <sighs> wing, wing. It's perfect conditions for a... Uh, uh, to wing the sails, so we're having the sail on each side, and we're having the the wind. Uh, not really 180 degrees. We have it on the 160 on the starboard side. So, yeah, I mean, it was pretty expected that the um, the wind would uh, calm down, um, but we're still doing over five knots. That's pretty nice. So the apparent wind is, yeah, the apparent wind is about five knots, and we're doing five, five and a half or so. So I'm still happy with it. Uh, yeah, so we wing it now, and I'm testing my uh, my preventer, my boom preventer, uh, or jive preventer. And it works very good so far. So I have a block up at the chain plate, and then it goes up to a block a little bit further up here on the Akka, and then it goes to a rope clutch down here. So it's pretty easy to. Uh, so I have one set up on each side. Okay, so you see that green thing there. Mm -hmm. So that's a boat in our direction in front of us so if you look outside there is super yacht 
Yeah, wind has picked up a little bit at least. Not that you really feel it because it's downwind and uh, I mean the apparent is between 8 and it's been up to 9. And that kind of wind, yeah like I said it's apparent that it's the windy feel. It's not the actual wind so if we would uh, stop now it would probably be around 15 knots. We're doing 7 knots, 180 degrees. So it's right from behind. And uh, we're doing, yeah, we've been doing between 6.8 6 and uh, 7.5 now in the last uh, uh, maybe 20 minutes. So that's uh, promising. Um, we'll see how it's gonna develop during the day. Uh, but the, um, the channel here, we're just uh, about to um, come out of the, the channel. So that was good uh, because I wasn't really sure if we were gonna have enough wind to be able to sail the whole. The whole way but luckily yeah we were so it's super nice that we've been able to sail and we still wing it like you see whereas the sail on each side and uh, yeah I just need to I just hope that we will see some animals uh, when we're out here some whales or dolphins it was a while since last time Yeah, the first downwind and then it went down a little bit of wind and I was doing maybe one and a half knots and there's maybe two, three knots of wind. I started the engine after maybe 25 minutes and then I, I ran it for maybe half an hour and then the wind starts to picking, starts to picking up and now we have the wind a little bit more in front of us. Uh, so we're doing a, a pretty much of a, like a close reach and uh, we're doing super nice speed about seven and a half to eight knots and um, don't really know what the true wind is because the speedometer is you know, something's growing on it so it doesn't work today um, I have a apparent wind speed at about 9 knots so I guess um, yeah we're doing faster than the wind pretty much I would say I would, uh, I would say that we're having a, a true wind speed at maybe at 6 knots or so and we're doing 8, 8 and a half might be a little bit of current because I like, can just see the speed of ground. And wind has shifted, so you see? It's wing again. And uh, by just taking over the this side on uh, having one side on each side made about one knot instead of having them both both on the same side so they weren't the way interfering with each other and the main was interfering with um, the gym the Genoa so ah <sighs> good again and I think we have about 15 miles left uh, we're doing um, eight and a half knots now and I have about two and a half miles left uh, so we have rocks here and there, so you have to be careful here in, the, in this area. Um, but uh, yeah, it feels good to end the day with some really good and fast sailing, I have to say. So It's uh, soon time to um, drop the hook and uh, here it looks with looks plenty of space here so first I was thinking we're gonna go over there there was a lot of boats and uh, why do that when you're having all this space here it's good I've been here before just like San Francisco where it was um, the previous anchorage but somehow it's always nice coming to a place that you know since before and uh, I mean I went to this place because I liked it so yeah and it's very beautiful when we came in sailing it's just hard to beat really and the anchoring went pretty smooth because I mean I went open in the, um, just outside this big big beach it was just two, uh, two other boats so it's very easy and yeah so I just had a glass of wine and I just started preparing some uh, some dinner I'm making uh, lazy man's pizza you know from um, pita bread and 
just top it up. It's gonna be nice. And Marco and um, Juan and um, Quinn, they are in um, in Napolo, uh, an anchorage, uh, maybe I don't know, 15 miles from San Francisco. So they decided to go there today, and um, we we'll, might see them here tomorrow. We'll see.